believe that if we add investment in human businesses, the product lines are better, they produce more, they produce better quality, the branding is better. Honestly, if all those are handled in a proper manner, it's easy to export. I'm driving to one of the ladies to do a bit of due diligence here and there. We normally go on site to look at the systems in the business, look at the processes, we look at the accounts. Mkazi Penyua is a community platform that we started to create tools and resources for women entrepreneurs to thrive. This. We have two accelerator programs currently ongoing. We have a, a Fun Her initiative with USAID Feed the Future and the NSSFI Innovator. We do have partnerships with a number of banks here in Uganda, and the terms we have with these banks are a bit favorable for the women. When we connect women to capital and funding, it helps boost their production. Many years ago, when I started my first business, it was static. It wasn't growing. Then we met a couple of friends. We kept discussing what's happening. Why aren't our businesses growing? Why aren't we getting the opportunities that the men are getting? We kept asking ourselves these questions. So we would meet here and there, three to four people. Before we knew it, we were eight to 10 people. Then we were 14 people. So I started Mukazi Prenu to create a space for women entrepreneurs to grow. The approach I used was to create a community for women entrepreneurs. So in there, we continuously do surveys to understand the needs of the women. We continuously create for them tools and resources that they need to grow in their businesses. Today we are going to look at the importance of profiling your client and how this translates into how broadly you can sell your product. This is a, a group of people that found me at the time when you need real support, intentional support. And today we've been talking about how to provide your customers and, and get value from the data that, that you collect that is going to help you actually uh, rethink your product and be able to customize it to their needs. Our biggest market we try to make these uh, businesses investor ready, especially for the women. Yes. We are trying but to get them to have a higher capacity for production and then a better lead time. Something resilient. Honestly speaking, we all know the biggest elephant in the room is lack of funding for women businesses. So today I'm here to uh, meet uh, the lead at Outbox. I normally come in here to give him an update on how we are progressing with the women. Um, the program has different levels, so at each level we keep reporting the progress, the challenges we are facing, what we need to do to ensure we accommodate all the women to take up the program. This is an initiative where we're also working with 11 other enterprise support organizations, things like Mukazipreneur. Entities like Mukazipreneur aggregate a lot of women-owned, women-led businesses. Um, so for us it was critical to tap into the awesome community that Mukazipreneur had created. Our role is to guide them to move out from the informal bit to get formally registered. Now when they are formally registered, we go into capacity building. Since inception, Mukazipreneur has uh, trained over 5,000 women in Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda and Zimbabwe. We've been able to raise over $600,000 for women entrepreneur businesses. And we see an opportunity for women entrepreneurs in Uganda with AFTA to export, but to also show other countries the rich, beautiful products that are here. We have ladies that export bags. We have ladies that export candles. We also have a lady that makes hair out of uh, banana fiber. It helps 
are women to position themselves to be competitive, to continuously innovate so that they can compete favorably with other women in other countries in Africa. But the goal is to get the entire community to be investment ready. It's really fulfilling to see a woman business go from micro to small to medium. And at the end of the day, we are contributing to the growth of the economy of Uganda.